You know, there was another video I had planned on making. It was uh, going to be the uh, little graveyard build, but I forgot that I hadn't quite finished it yet. So, um, blend bugs from the store. Didn't feel them, but we're on a five-figure streak. If we could make it to eight, that's pretty good. This would be seven if we made it. Um, if I open both of these and they're not duplicates. I figure that's pretty fair, seeing as there's 16, so getting half of them... Um, without duplicates is pretty reasonable. We do have a collection sheet, and I have not checked anything on it, but I can tell you I've got the number three, number four, number five, um, number ten, number eleven. That's it. Top picks still are Viking Llama, Boy with the Pinata, and the Green Brick. I think those are the ones that we're going for the most. Anything we don't have, obviously, is a... Uh, is a win in my book. So let's open this one, because this one kind of feels puffy and fat. Oh, we forgot to check the numbers. Uh, this is 09R0, and this is 09R0. I don't remember what the last set was. Is this the same? Did I get these at the same store? I don't remember. Anyways, cut. And then I'll let out a lot of the air. So, this is a new one. Maybe it's a new one. Okay, so this is a really fun one because it comes with a lot of really good pieces. So first of all, let's uh, take a look and look at that. It's a very, very curvy body. Is this a diver girl? Oh, it is. She got a little bit of eyebrows and eyebrows, uh, eyelashes. She got eyebrows too, though. And the uh, lipstick known second face. Interesting. These aren't on a sprue. Aren't those usually on sprues? Um, I'd like to know if you know. If they've been not doing those on sprues for a while, I would be interested to know. Because I thought those came on sprues. This plant is kind of a cop-out. They've been giving that out with a lot of CMS. This boy, though. Tiny turtle. Now, the question is, is this an adult turtle in the universe? Is that dual molded? Oh, interesting. I think that's dual molded. Look at the way that it's wrapped around the underside. Um, it's got an anti stud on the bottom. It's, I don't know. Cool looking, but uh, doesn't feel terribly Lego. It feels like a little toy with a Lego connection. Kind of when you get those Hot Wheels with a Lego um, like build on this. So I guess that's kind of cool. So we're going to just assemble her up. I'll tell you though is that that's a fun use of those uh is it medium blue don't know some random blue color uh sleeves with the yellow arm sticking out so it's a short sleeve it's nice regular old race car helmet but we get that underwater visor that you've all seen hopefully hopefully you've seen it a couple dozen times and then you got some food to feed the turtles i don't think you're supposed to feed wildlife now let's do the posing because we have to do the posing if I put these on the feet and kind of splay them out a little bit, a little more front light action. Yeah, that looks, eh, it's fine. And then this should just go into the peg. We're gonna use two. And then we have this little stamp piece. Something like that with the arms kind of swimming. Does that look fun? It looks a little more dynamic in my hand. Let's try and turn it up a little bit without getting the connector pieces off. Yeah, that looks pretty dynamic. That's pretty fun and good. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a three out of 10 for the pose. Seven out of 10 for the figure. Um, bag two. And, nope, it's over. The streak's over. Six was the streak, but it is one that I'm happy to get again. It's the Tournament Night. Tournament Night has an extra quill plume piece. So that's just a dark red, new dark red um, plume piece. Oh, hey, he's got the um, bar on his neck. Did we? I forgot to completely, forgot to check. Mmm. 
it's a white or it's a black uh, thing so it should have a white a black body so it should have a white uh, orientation mark except it doesn't interesting look at that shield look at that good shield pattern look at that well we don't get to talk about i mean we can talk about him again he's a fine figure and i probably would like to get three or more I feel like a band of four or five is kind of a good size for a little, little army, little little. Uh, oh, geez, what's the word? Um, battalion type thing, a little, a little mercenary group, perhaps. Just a fun little amount. And he's a he's a good looking knight. I like it. Hold his shield down at his side, and I guess we can actually put the sword. Can we put the sword backwards? I could be doing this on camera, but I didn't have it kind of at his side, out of the way. Kind of in guard position, I'd say. Like standing guard. I like the, the simplicity of the um, legs and torso. It's nice. And the face prints. Honestly, it's not, it's not unusable for other things. I could see that being a lumberjack, perhaps. He's got like a weird... Like, he's got a weird smirk about him. Can you see that in the camera? Like, he's, it's, like, weird because it's half covered by his mustache. But um, it's nice. He's got little, little like, uh, I was going to say scars, but I think they're, like, cheekbones. Kind of, like, some aged lines, perhaps, making him just a little bit more rugged and older. And then I love that helmet. That's a real nice um, gunmetal gray bucket helmet design with the slit. And the plume, of course, matches the accent color on the shield, I believe. That's supposed to be the new reddish color on the shield. His belt is also, and then his hands. So I like it. I just, I can't say enough good things about that specific figure. But um, six in a row with no repeats, pretty good. Hopefully next time we get the Viking or the Green Brick, I'd be happy with those. So I think we're going to end the video there. Automatic video over here. Um, the night will be a subscription, and then the blank space over here is a video that I handpicked for you. Uh, if you're not already an ancient fan of Lego, jeez, it's a good time to become one. Click that subscribe button. You can hit the bell if you want. I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to peer pressure you into the bell, but uh, you know, you know how it works. You've been on this website before.